everyone, this is Vegas. And today I want to showcase to the trade exchange. I love them so much. And I also want to share why I love this particular feature they offer, which is called the morning mashup. So let's get right to it. So today I'm going to review with you the one I have received today, May 13th. And this is basically gives you a document in a PDF document so that you can see at your fingertips what is going on in the markets because there's so much information in the news in the morning. It's so much to read, so much to review. This document seriously helps you big time. So let me just go through it with you guys. So first of all, the economic calendar, you, you know exactly what's happening uh, with the mortgage applications, the petroleum report basically tells you what's happening and what time these reports come out. If you like to follow any of this information, you also have pre-market data on the S&P, the Dow Jones Industrial, the NASDAQ, kind of a snapshot. I also get a snapshot here of all the commodities, gold, silver, crude oil, natural gas. A lot of people love knowing what Fed speakers are scheduled for the day. This tells me Jerome Powell scheduled for 9 o'clock and he was speaking today, obviously. We also have uh, some updates on the European markets, how they're doing, and also the Asian markets. Now, we also have a little bit of a snapshot from the morning mashup, and the commentary was about Jerome Powell speaking today and also about how we really want to get a bipartisan agreement because, in their opinion, there is no need for politics when Americans are suffering as they are now. And we so know that and I keep hearing this. A lot of businesses are closing, especially small businesses. This is a really, really not a good situation. So if we scroll around, scroll down to page two, just going to go slow here for you guys. So on page two, I can see the currencies, what, um, what they're going for. And I love following the 10 year yield. Everyone should be following this and it's so important. And you could see here what it's going, um, in the other countries. The other thing too, is it shows you the top shareholder meetings. I can see here who is talking, what's happening, what tickers. So we see that CAT had a shareholder meeting today. Um, investors call. We also see FSLR had, First Solar had a shareholder meeting today. And then we have obviously all these conferences and they're obviously being done virtually. So if there's any companies or stocks you're interested in, sometimes it's good to know you know, are they having a shareholder meeting? Is there an analyst conference call going on? Maybe you may want to find out more about it if you follow one of those companies. Uh, the other thing too that I love very much is this other document here further down. I love the insider purchases. Now, please note with the morning mashup, you're only going to see the the form for purchases that are actually over $100,000 in premium or more. So if there are insider buys that do not spend at least $100,000 on insider stock, you are not going to see this on the list. Okay, so you can see here. So what I how I like to use it, obviously, is you see the name of this, the company, who bought it, how many shares and what did they pay for? You know what? So you can do a quick little math. Okay, this guy bought 15,000 shares, $10 each. Okay, not a massive order. Um, but you know what? Like, look at this other one here, UPWK. Look at the director purchase 542,996 shares at $9.95. So that one there would definitely stands out to me. And, you know, as a trader, you might want to look into this a little more yourself and find out what is happening with Upworks. Now, I will say, in my opinion, they were commenting how they're getting a lot a freelancers uh, listing their services. They also mentioned they were working with Microsoft. So you may want to check this company out because you see when you see a huge insider buy like this, this is one you might want to follow. Now, let's just quickly, we'll come back to this momentarily because I want to talk to you guys about Upworks um, maybe at the end. So continuing along, you can see syndicates here. Uh, you can see if any forms are filled out. So these are S1s, S3s I definitely don't like. We don't like these shelves. Uh, S1s are okay. And then we have here any type of uh, public offerings and what's going on and who is the booking manager. So it actually tells you, for example, like MGEE had an offering, 1.3 million shares at $56, and it was obviously Morgan Stanley Bank of America. 
Then we continue along on page three, similar. Uh, we have here the list of all the other companies that have had offerings or a mixed shelf. So this is really good because, you know, if you're seeing sometimes a downtick on a particular stock, you might be wondering what's going on. Or maybe you like to short. And so this can help you with looking at those um, stocks and planning your trade. We also have here the highlighted analyst activity. This shows you all the upgrades, all the downgrades, and all the initiations. It actually tells you the obviously um, who is actually rating it. So here we have Morgan Stanley, KeyBank, Jeffries, HSBC. So it's interesting to see, like for example, here initiations, we see that Weight Watchers was listed here today as a buy from Jeffries. So if, if you like Weight Watchers, the company because Oprah is connected and you're interested maybe to consider this for a trade longer term, maybe even shorter term, then you might want to then take a look and say, okay, Jeffries is really liking it. Maybe this should be a stock I check out. And then obviously there's some other ones up here as well that are being listed as outperform. So these are also stocks that you might want to check out. Let's continue along. This is actually my other super favorite part of the morning mashup. Okay. This here is showing me what's happened overnight or pre-market company press releases. You all know how many tickers are out there, how many stocks are trading on all these exchanges. And we just can't always find all the news in real time. It's so much to read, so much to find. This document is a lifesaver and time saver for me personally. And I have to tell you, my room just loves it. Um, I know so many people that have their own subscription because they like to look at their, you know, the document themselves and they like to highlight things. They like to analyze things. So they definitely love this subscription and definitely subscribe. I will tell you, I wish I would have known about this when I was trading five years ago. I used to actually trade with someone I know. Um, who used to always know the news and he would say oh this one has a form four this one had this and I'm like how does this person know everything well I can tell you right now they probably had a subscription to trade exchange and did not tell me that they'd had one so um, I'm sharing it with you because I want you to be able to have more information uh, stress-free and make your life easier as a trader so the other thing too you can see here so what it does it's all alphabetical first of all so I love that um, so you could see here ARMK they mentioned was launching a holistic platform to enable the safe free opening of sustainable management uh, then we have ARPO then you know so you got to just quickly scan through this is not going to give you the nitty nitty gritty details this is just high level quick update on what is going on with this company. So if you want to read more information, then obviously you should be going to the company's website and going to find their press release regarding the details of what you want to know. So for example, CAPR had announced top line results regarding their HOPE2 study in patients with the muscular dystrophy treatment. So if I'm interested in this company, maybe for a long term, or I'm interested in what on the, what happened with that study, um, I'm going to have to go to the company's website and find that information. This document just gives you right at your fingertips what's going on. Then we have, for example, GNCA introduced a Gen 011, a cell therapy, tells you what it's for. We have here, for example, MYL, supplying investigational antiviral remdesivir for COVID-19. And then we have this one here, TMO, the FDA further expands. Uh, EUA for Thermo Fisher Scientific for, again, COVID-19. And then we have VNDA announced an agreement with the FDA on resubmission of their application for Hetlioz for patients with the smith magennis syndrome. So obviously maybe their application at one time was sent back. Maybe there was concerns with it. They've now resubmitted and they have an agreement that they're allowed to resubmit. So that's great. So maybe this company you might want to continue looking at or, or pursuing or checking out. So the other thing too that it shows you here, we have here the overnight pre-market world political and company headlines. So obviously we have the information here about the Federal Reserve will be holding a Fed listens event 
on May 21st and Chair Powell to speak. We also have here some updates about Uber and Grub. I mean, you guys know the commentary about Uber and Grubhub. Uber looking to uh, take over Grubhub. And obviously, they have not come to a final agreement. And so we have here that there's a comment here that they do remain at odds on price. So I am hearing the latest, obviously, that the two CEOs are now talking with each other. And so maybe they'll come to some sort of negotiation and we'll maybe we'll hear some news soon. But if you follow Uber and Grub, obviously, you would want to know what is going on with it. So here it gives you a quick snapshot. Um, the other thing, too, some comments maybe by Drucken Miller. Uh, he just commenting here that the risk reward for equities is maybe as bad as he's ever seen in his career. So some people like to follow what he says or follow him because they like his content. The other thing too, any additional ed, uh, events and headlines, it's noted here as none. We also have the earning results after hours from the day before. It gives you an update here who missed and who beat and who has revenue in line or revenues missed so it kind of gives you a snapshot as well so we have some good ones here by eight and algt then also gives you an update here on also the earnings pre-market what's happening pre-market these are all the symbols reporting all in alphabetical order we also have all of the ones for tonight in particular i was interested in cisco so obviously i knew tonight wow i better stick around i want to hear what's happening with cisco uh, not so interested in these other ones, um, but Cisco was of interest to me, so I was able to st uh, stay after hours and listen to that. And then we always close it off with a motivational quote, and today's quote was that, uh, if you really look closely, most overnight successes take a long time. That was a fantastic quote by Steve Jobs. And you know what? It is so true. A lot of people in trading, you know, they're they're successful. But I got to tell you, those people, they didn't have a success overnight. They've been working hard on it. They're hustling. They're studying. They don't give up. They keep researching. They, you know, they screw up on trades. They make mistakes. But you know what? They just keep going at it. And I know someone in particular... I'm not going to mention his name tonight because I didn't ask his permission, but I know someone who three years ago was not trading the way they are today. And this person has done so well and has hit their big number. And I'm just so amazed to see how amazing they've done. But I will say one thing, this person is not an overnight success. They actually been hustling and bustling for over three years and finally finally got there so i love this quote very inspiring so i hope you guys enjoyed this edition of the trade exchange if you're interested in subscribing to the uh, report i just showed you called the morning mashup this definitely gives you the daily analytics you can sign up visiting their website i will put the website in the video below you can sign up they give it to you for a measly 5.99 a month i gotta tell you i gotta talk to them they but they should be charging more for this because this is saving me so much time uh it's worth every penny this is like getting it for free actually um this is just amazing i didn't even realize that that was what they charge because i just have um an annual plan and never really noticed the monthly plan so you could sign up and get their daily analytics like i said it's sent in the morning super early uh also it i just reviewed with you what it does cover and you know what if you're watching and liking today's video and you comment below and you really like today's content i will be happy to share tomorrow's report with you all if you like and subscribe to the channel and maybe like and subscribe on to uh, stock twits so I know that you guys are interested in seeing the report tomorrow and I'll be happy to share it with you guys to help you start your day with your trading have a good night everyone and talk to you soon